And now presenting up first, you know him as Caboose, Joel Heyman! And you know him as the lovable gruff, Griff, Jeffrey Ramsey! And your favorite orb, Church, Bernie Burns! Our animator extraordinaire, Monty O! Everyone's gotta love a Sarge, it's Matt Hello. And last, but certainly not least, you know him as the sexy man you just saw. It is Gustavo Sorolla. Make some noise, Pax, you love him. Man, I've got such a huge boner after watching that video. <laughs> Never, never admit that, sir. Okay, so we have a bunch of stuff to show. In fact, we actually made too much stuff to show for our time slot today, so we actually had to cut. No, I'm not gonna start with a disappointment. I'll tell you what we cut later. But we thought we'd just jump straight into a Q&A if anyone has any questions. Do that for a little bit, and then show the final two episodes of season eight of Red vs. Blue Revelation. <laughs> What's that? Anybody? Translate? Uh, negative one for life. <laughs> okay. So, besides the guy yelling in the background, anybody want to jump up to the mics? Anybody have any questions? Do we have mics for Q&A? Oh, there we go. She's got a notepad. That, she's not fucking around. <laughs> you like know, a press conference a, when you roll up with a notepad and a pen, there's a lot of pressure on you to ask oh. a super awesome question. Hey. Okay. Some Griff Ballers down in front. Oh, there's a mic. What updates are coming to oh, uh, what updates are coming to Griffball.com to make it compatible with Reach? To make it compatible with Reach. Well, first of all, the question was, if you missed the very first part of it, is what updates are coming to Griffball.com to make it compatible with Reach? We don't know, because uh, we don't know how much support Reach is going to have for Griffball. Uh, but we'll have to work really quickly, like a lot of people will. As soon as it, you know, it hits the ground, we of course want to play the thing from beginning to end, but then we're going to have to go through and figure out what updates we have to make to not only Griffball.com, but to Achievement Hunter and a lot of other things as well. So we'll be making them fast and furious, and we're going to be relying on all of you in the community to tell us what we're doing wrong. I'll take care of the uh, furious side of Fast and Furious for you. Oh, thanks, Andrew. You know, we can't ever get Gus to stop wearing the wig around the office now. That's the... It, it just feels right. <laughs> it doesn't look that good. Hey, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at us in the mirror in the little monitor here. When did you, Matt, and I start dressing identically? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. My <laughs> wife dresses me, so I hope... Your wife not... dresses me, too. No, 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 no. Jordan, no. if you're out there, you just... know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Gotta watch the easy setups. Yes, sir. Oh, oh hi. Sorry. I, are you done answering her question? I was just making sure. What's that? Are you done man answering her question? Yes. Are we done? Uh, are we, was that your you? Was that your question? No. <laughs> yes. Yes, that was. Is it next. <laughs> um, actually, I, I just had a quick question about voiceovers. Um, I, I don't know uh, if you guys did any um, uh, coaching before you did voice acting, or did did the uh, voice acting come with the experience of doing RVV? Joel. You want to take that? Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think it's like uh, everyone came into it differently. Uh, so I think some of them, some people went through the process and sort of picked up stuff, and other people uh, started out really terrible, like myself, and then got better. But <laughs> yeah, Joel, Joel would be the only classically trained voice actor in the group, I guess, because he actually went to college. <laughs> uh, yeah, the rest of us, uh, it's not hard. You just, it's like this a lot. You just talk in front of a mic, pretty much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we tailor the writing to match people's voice acting abilities too. Like whenever, if I want someone to scream like this, oh, it's always Griff. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna try not to inadvertently insult any of my idols this time, so I'll keep it simple. Oh boy. Um, your series is irrepressibly quotable. What's each of yours favorite line from the series? Wow. I think uh, my favorite line is probably from uh, the Real Life versus the Internet PSA. It's, I hate you and I hate the bands that you like. <laughs> I find it very fitting. <laughs> I can say Monty's favorite line is probably pow. <laughs> you know, Matt? Uh, I don't know. Sarge seems to have so many good ones. I've been, I've been lucky with that. But uh, I always like to, uh, we're not retreating. We're advancing toward future victory. <laughs> Does it, have, does it have to be our character, or can it be no. our actual favorite line? Just oh, your, your favorite, favorite line, line from any character. I've got a boner for murder. <laughs> 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 Jeff, Jeff's been trying to put that on a bumper sticker for like four years now. <laughs> we, actu we, actually, we actually cannot find a place that will print a bumper sticker we that says I've got a boner for murder. <laughs> it's true. We I'll make one custom at home and send it to you. <laughs> I will find a way. <laughs> I kind of liked I'll Be Back, but I didn't know if that, you were talking about our series or... Your, because yes, Terminator, that, that moment to, you knew he was going to be back. <laughs> so it was an important line. Yeah. Great line, but limit it somewhat. <laughs> Don't spoil it for Joel, but we've actually been telling him he, he's in the cast of Terminator this entire time. <laughs> Red vs. Blue is just an advanced sequel to Terminator. <laughs> so what is, your, what is your favorite line since you asked the question? Um... It's Oh, it's not so easy, is it? When you get put on the spot. <laughs> it's a three-way tie between... Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Running, running, running. <laughs> yep. Protect me, code! And <laughs> my name is Leonard Church, and you will fear my laser face. <laughs> oh, well. I'll see you again. I, I just realized something. The answer I gave should have been one... It should have been a quote that we have on a shirt that we're selling in the exhibit that's, hall. Yeah. No so that's my favorite one. You shall fear my laser <laughs> face. Buy it now at Boost 571. You know, this would probably be an appropriate time to bring this up after your wonderful performance by that. Uh, we are partnering with the Alamo Draft House. If you listen to the drunk tank. The Alamo Draft House is a theater in Austin. It's the greatest theater in the known universe where you can drink, drink beer and watch old movies. And uh, they're doing a 48-hour film festival, Machinima Film Festival, where you can enter from anywhere in the country, and it'll be screened at the film festival uh, in Austin. The winners will. And uh, we're going to help pick the winner, but then additionally, and I thought you all would be interested in this, is that we are going to award a special category for acting out of all the, the uh, entrants and whoever we choose as the best actor across all the different performances will also win a walk-on role for an upcoming Red vs. Blue episode. So. And we have uh, pamphlets about it in our book, but I thought you guys would be interested about it, so come by the booth and just pick up one of the pamphlets and you can enter, and it's just a team of machinimators anywhere in the world can enter it. Can I enter? No, you cannot. No. And, and incidentally, I do like a lot more lines than that, but I don't have time to recite the entire series. No, no, no. That's fine. We've heard it. We, everybody here knows it. I think. 